All right. Patrick is going to have a reading for you. Please make him feel welcome. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. My name is Patrick. Excuse me, I'm a little nervous. It's my first time speaking in front of these 12-step groups. You know what I'm saying? And uh, <clears throat> I guess the reason why I'm here tonight is because I want to say that I'm a recovering American. It's very hard for me to get up here and talk about this addiction because I've heard a lot of people say, I wish I had that problem. After all, what could be wrong about being an American, right? We've got the strongest military in the world, a great capitalist economy where anybody can make it big if they work hard, and freedom, most importantly, freedom. Lots of people around the world would kill to enjoy the things that I do. And I guess that's why I'm here. There are a lot of people that want to kill me. Most of the time, I don't think about it. Between my work and my girlfriend, rooting for my sports teams, go Yankees. I, <laughs> I barely have time to notice what's going on in the world around me. But every now and then, like when 9-11 happened, or this guy Nick Berg got killed this week, I had to stop and think, why would anyone do this to me and my country? The answers I came up with made me feel uncomfortable inside. I realized that all the things that I enjoy, a lot of them anyway, are that way because of a lot of pretty nasty things my government does around the world. It was hard for me to find these things out, but if you look hard enough, you can see them. I mean, my government has been doing some crazy shite behind my back. Things like selling drugs, destroying capitalism, training terrorist death squads, and supporting dictators who don't respect the freedom that we promote around the world. Most of this stuff is supposed to be illegal, yet I let my government get away with it anyway. Why? I guess when it comes down to it, I never really cared about anybody else in the world. After all, everyone wants to be like us. Everybody comes here. That means we're doing something right, right? Maybe not. I realize now that most people come here because the standard of living is so high. But the reason it is so high is because our government works with the big corporations to rob all the other countries blind. We've been doing it that way for hundreds of years. That's the American way. Kill your way to the top, and then when you get there, you write a few songs and a few history books that tell you that all that killing and stealing you just did was a great thing. And it sounds even better if you can get God to bless it all. But breaking this addiction is going to be hard, man. Hard. It's hard to know what the right thing to do is. I can't get the truth from any of the news channels or the newspapers because the big corporations own all of them. And a lot of people have gotten killed for trying to tell the truth about things. I mean, there are big bucks to be made by telling lies and keeping quiet about things. But I'm here because I know I need to be here. I did a lot of thinking about what being an American means. And I realize that it means that I'm not supposed to trust any government whatsoever. That doesn't mean that I don't believe in government, but it does mean that I have to work hard to make sure that they are telling the truth. There's too much power, too much potential for hurt in my country and the world if I don't keep up with what my government does. I also realize that being an American is not about belonging to any particular country. It's about freedom. Plain and simple. They, they could burn this country tomorrow. And sometimes I think that they might just do that. But if I were alive, I'd still be free. Freedom is a natural quality. It's not a bonus plan for some people in the world. So as an American, I'm supposed to be helping others to get free too. Not just in my country, but the whole world over. But not just by force. By setting a good example and sharing what we have. Being American is supposed to be about being a good human. I mean, think about it. America is the place where Europeans and other peoples came to give up being Europeans and other peoples. Sure, we like to call ourselves Irish Americans, African Americans, Italian Americans, and all the rest. But deep down, those things are things that are just that the earlier immigrants were willing to give up if it meant a better life for themselves and their families. Many of them learned a whole new language and a whole new way of living just to make things better for themselves. 
They transcended their original culture to create a new one because the old one wasn't working. I, I think it's time for all peoples, especially Americans, to transcend our cultures once again. Why especially us? In order to create this culture, we had to take so much from so many people. I think we should set a precedent of giving something back to the world. We've been taken and taken for such a long time that the world is getting burned out by us. To me, it just seems like the thing a responsible human being would do right now. So I'm sorry, everybody. I haven't been a good human being. I'm going to be a good one from now on, though. If that means forgetting that I'm an American in order to help us all share in the goodness of this planet, then so be it. If we all just shared what we had, there'd be less of a reason to fight over anything. So I'm giving up my share of what I've been holding back from all of you. But you got to be patient and forgive my other American friends who can't be here tonight or who just won't come. You see, for all our tough talk, most Americans are just a bunch of scared pussy, uh, cats. Uh, excuse my French. Pardon me. Sorry. We talk like we're the best in the world, but my people are the most afraid. How do I know that? Because Americans can't face the truth about anything. If we faced up to the truth of what we were doing all these years, we'd be sorry and we'd have to make up for it. In other words, we'd have to change. But most Americans don't want to give up their 401k plans that are supporting drug dealing corporations or companies that take advantage of uneducated workers around the world. We don't want to see the starvation we cause around the world on television because that would mean we couldn't enjoy our TV shows. We don't want to read and do the homework about real issues because that would mean we would have to think. Americans are pretty good at memorizing trivial stuff, but don't ask us to think too much. And how do I know that we're such a bunch of scared rabbits? Look how much we spend on the military. We don't spend that much to promote peace around the world. We spend that much to protect ourselves from all the angry people that we've been robbing. It's like they used to say in kindergarten. If you didn't do anything wrong, then who are you hiding from? What do you got to hide? This war on terrorism is not about protecting us from terrorism. It's about allowing us to use terrorism to keep people quiet when they scream about how unfair the world is. So thanks for being here and listening to me. I got to tell you, it feels kind of nice to just be in the room with a bunch of human beings. No labels, just people. But this is just, this is a hard addiction to fight, man. Maybe if I bring someone along with me next time, it'll be easier on me, and it'll give you hope that things can change around here. I'm willing to try. What about you? Thank you.